by dragon fruit in three minutes or less. So really quick tutorial. This is an epiphytic plant, meaning it's gonna grow up trees. Aerial roots are gonna kind of feed on those trees. I'll show you a little guy that I got in a pot here. Uh, this is the Haley's Comet variety. It has a hot pink inside. Um, a couple of my favorite varieties on the dragon fruit. Uh, I don't actually love the one you get in the grocery store. I don't think there's a lot of flavor to it. Uh, this is the grocery store one, the red Pathia. Uh, my three favorite varieties are gonna be, number one, the yellow. I think it is the sweetest. It's got a kiwi, strawberry, um, really nice floral flavor. It's definitely the sweetest of the dragon fruit, in my opinion. Uh, I also like Haley's Comet and the American Beauty. Haley's Comet is going to be a nice bright pink on the inside. American Beauty is going to be so magenta, it's almost purple. Really bright fuchsia color. Uh, but the flavor palette on these are really strawberry, kiwi, a um, little bit of cucumber undertones. But to me, the yellow is definitely the sweetest. Now, you can grow these in USDA zones 9 through 12. However, in zone nine, I like to grow them up the side of a tree. Any of the ones that got hit in this last couple frosts that we had in central Florida that I had on those fancy trellises or in pots, even the ones I protected got hit really, really hard with the frost. The ones growing up the tree that I neglect the heck out of them, they did great. So nature protects nature, does a really great job at it. So I'm kind of changing my strategy, just growing them up trees. Fertilizing on these is about March, June, and September. Give them a nice fresh layer of compost. The challenge with growing the dragon fruit family is generally pollinating. Because they bloom at night, there's not bees and butterflies that are active. So you do have to have moths and nighttime flies and pollinators to help these guys out. So there's a few companion plants that you can do along the way to really help that pollination cycle. The Queen of the Night or Night Blooming Sirius is a great choice. Very similar flower structure. Uh, but my personal favorite is in the Morning Glory family and it's called Moonflower. Now the flowers are white, get about this big, um, and they smell like baby powder. I mean, it's the strangest thing, but the moths love them and it's a great pollinator for dragon fruit. Now, if you don't have the ability to plant those companion plants for dragon fruit, you can take a paintbrush, go through and tickle the little flowers as soon as they open and you can do that pollination by hand. But if you have not grown dragons, I would definitely encourage you to give them a shot. My personal recommendation would be to grow them up a tree. Don't even mess with all the fancy trellising and you know support systems. Just let nature be nature. So head to an Asian market, head to your local health food store, get a couple dragon fruit to try them out and see what you think and leave your comments in the section below. I'd love to hear what you think. Press like and give a follow.